So in continuing with the Abinitio tutorial series, I'm going to take up a normalized component today. So this is also a very uh, important component and many of the use cases is solved by normalized component. So norm, what normalized does is it will expand the expand the particular input record and or in other words it will uh, create the replica replica of you know input record so let's say we have to produce uh, 10 similar records from out of one record then we can use the normalized components so normalized component so what are the use cases we are normal what are the use cases where normalize can be used. So if we have you know vectored input where we want to expand the vector or we, we want to uh, normalize the vector, vector normalization. Okay. If we want to achieve, let's say we have a record, we can have a record you know multiple recording vector you know. so, we have, so depending upon the length of the vector we can produce those many records okay and uh, if we have a record such as uh, employee uh, it and uh, month month one and then salary one month two sell it to etc until month 12 no sell it 12 and year okay so if we have like this and we want to achieve employee id month and salary okay Lord I one month, let's say January, salary is equal to whatever you know, MK or something. <laughs> so in that case, what we can do is we can we can keep this into one vector. Okay, calculate the length of the vector. Probably it will be 12 always, or we can hard code as a length as a 12 and then you know, use the normalized function. So likewise, uh, we can use uh, normalize in uh, other cases too. Whenever we have to produce the record, we have to, uh, you know, produce the more record than input. Then we can think of the normalized component, okay? So let's say we are receiving 100 records and it producing thousands of records or 200 records, let's say, or more than 100 records, then we can see whether we can you, you know, utilize normalized component in that scenario, okay? And uh, <clears throat> one use cases uh, could be uh, that uh, for a particular uh, department, if we have a sales of item and uh, sales of item is kept in vector form, if salary um, and region one and that much salary region two that much salary and we want to expand that record into a particular uh, region level then we can use the normalized function to expand the vector okay so let's go ahead and see how, how to configure the normalized component so what are the parameters in the normalized component and uh, what what is happening how Okay, so uh, let's uh, talk about the first parameter. Uh, first parameter is uh, transform mode. So mostly it is uh, driven by transform. Everything is in transform. Only. Transform will have a length function, other length function or finished function. Okay. So depend the, the length function will give the how many records that normalize has to produce as part of uh, as part of the process so length is a function so it has to you know out the you know number of uh, 
So if we want to specify, let's say length, length of length vector mm -hmm. in dot vector zero. Let's say vector zero or mm -hmm. items. Items is the vector okay, which is in input property and this is how we specify the length function okay. similarly uh, there is a finished function so finish uh, is gives the condition that whenever any particular condition is true until then you know keep on producing the records do until when okay do while and uh, transform is like for for uh, loop and uh, finished is uh, like a do while loop okay and uh, in the transform package itself uh, we will have a normalize so how we can configure the normalize is like how okay how normalize it will take in an index index so which index we are Begin. Okay. N is the incoming record, input record, and index is which index, uh, which record we are going to produce. Index zero means first record. Let's say it's uh, it's uh, producing length of indoor item as five. So we have, what we have to do is zero to four. The index is uh, five. Index will vary. Index will vary from. 0 to 4 okay okay so if you want to out dot f1 f1 is field one okay uh, what it will happen is in dot items okay index dot f1 that's all out dot f2 you know See, it is I N in okay in dot items then index dot f. Similarly, we can um, you know we can put the logic. So this is the normalized function. So what what is going to happen is if it index is zero, then output f one, then first item will go. For second field, second item will go. Okay, so that will depend upon how many fields we are going to. See. And finally, if uh, there are by default, uh, you know, uh, by default, um, you know, fields. Let's say in this case we have year. Year will be same for all the twelve record, right? So this is um, finally we can assign it. Okay. This year's index value will not uh, determine. I mean, depend upon the index at all. Okay. Okay. So, or we can specify the hard coded value here instead of giving in this scenario number one and scenario number uh, two like this. We can specify just twelve. We know that it's going to be have twelve, and uh, this will uh, be okay. Okay. So we can go like so it will be the normalized will be called uh, 12 times okay so other parameters are logging parameters so if we are space want to capture the log and then we can space the logging as true and uh, the error group and log group so if we specify error group then uh, after finishing this component or after finishing this graph uh, the the particular error group will be sent to the uh, handle error component and if you specify the log group then after the processing the component will send the particular log group to the handle log component and also we have a parameters like log apart from logging right so we need to specify logging as true or false okay and apart from that, there is a log 
input. What this component is, what this parameter does is, if you specify, let's say, log, log input 1000, uh, 10, so after every 10th input record will be sent to the log board. Okay. This is the meaning of that. And log output, if you specify as 10, what is the meaning of it here? Every 10th record will be sent to the Every 10th output record will send to the output, okay? <clears throat> Similarly, we have a log reject. Log reject, let's say it's specifying 15. So every 15th record reject will be sent to the reject port. And we have a reject threshold as well. One important parameter, reject threshold. This is for uh, same for all actually in, in the description. So if you specifying uh, about on first records, so if any rec uh, record which passes through normalize or length function and it, it fails for some other reason, then the record is going to be rejected and graph is going to fail. If you specify never about, then um, it, it won't uh, fail the graph, it won't fail the process. But the record is going to be rejected. If you want to uh, capture that record, then we have to attach attach uh, the log port to the some certain data sets. Okay, log port or error port or, or reject port. If you want to capture the, those those uh, details, right? Then we have to do that. Okay, if we have to specify some limit, ten percent or five percent, using the limit ramp. Uh, parameters then that also we can achieve okay so this is that i mean uh, so the parameters uh, the parameters what we need to configure okay as part of our use case so normalize uh, yeah um, it's very very important topic uh, 